My name is Takaru Saito. I'm unemployed for various reasons. Ugh, I'm tired of gaming. And I've already read all my mangas. I guess it would be nice if I just found a new hobby. Right when I was thinking about that. For $40 an hour? That's so expensive. That's like 10 days worth of lunch. Oh yeah? Are you interested in going to a cabaret? Huh? Uh, no, I... Cabarets are really fun. There are cute girls and good booze. You'll be able to have a great time that will make you forget all of your daily worries. A great time, huh? Yeah, a unique experience that allows you to have an experience that is out of this world. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? Honestly, I wasn't interested in this sort of thing at all, but... Um, I guess I can. One customer coming right up! Welcome! Darn, he's fast to react. Wow, that's amazing! Right this way, sir! Oh, right, uh, thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Ikuyu Tamagashi. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Come on, let's drink up! What do you want to drink? Huh? Uh, um... Wow, she's super aggressive. I'm not a fan. Um, I guess water to start? Water? <laughs> Are you being serious right now? That's hilarious! Huh? Um, uh... This isn't a bar or restaurant. <laughs> you should probably drink something more expensive. Oh, and I also get sick if I drink cheap alcohol, so make sure you're ordering champagne. I can't do this. I want to go home. I was already getting ready to go home after receiving a warm welcome at the cabaret, but... Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Kane Azawa. Oh, uh, hi, and nice to meet you too. She's not very cabaret-esque. She's super cute, though. What? You're gonna be sitting here too? Yes, ma'am. The manager told me to come sit at this table. Okay, cool. I'm leaving then. Huh? B but... It's fine. This guy doesn't seem like he's got a lot of money, so you're perfect for each other. You're both bland. <laughs> what was wrong with that lady? She was annoying from start to finish. Okay, um... Let me make you a drink? Sure, um, uh, this whole experience is kind of new to me, so I might kind of do things wrong. Huh? <laughs> she laughed at me! Oh, sorry, it's just the first time that I'm talking to a customer that would say something like that to me. Really? Yeah, I actually just recently started working here, too. Oh, okay, it kind of makes sense. Huh? Makes sense? Was I doing something wrong? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I, I, I just mean, you know, uh, you're not the type. In, 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 a, in a good way. In a good way? Oh, those puppy dog eyes. The store toward her howl, or maybe not. Is this natural? Um... How about we get some expensive drinks, huh? It'll be good for your sales. Huh? You can't do that. Huh? I mean, you know, it's like $30 per drink. It's a huge waste. I mean, I can pay that much. Uh, is it a waste? It is a waste. You really don't have to be so considerate. Let's just cheers with some tea, huh? <laughs> tea? Are you sure you should be saying that? I mean, I'm always doing this stuff, so the manager is always chewing me out. <laughs> I talked to Kanai-san and had a great time with her. It was my first time at a cabaret, and I honestly felt like it wasn't a bad time. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you. Um, would it be alright if I come by again? Huh? You can't do that. Wait, I can't? 
It's too expensive. You know, I'm starting to think maybe she's not too good at this job. <laughs> You're talking about money again. Seriously, don't worry about it. Oh, you're already leaving, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be back again sometime. Oh, you don't have to push yourself. <laughs> you're acting so tough. Bye, poor person. <laughs> I just couldn't handle this woman. I kept going by the store to see Kanai-san. I ignored Akuya-san completely. Sorry, I'm here again. Ugh. You can't be coming every day. It's a waste of money. She always stopped me from ordering an expensive drink because it was a waste. She always made me leave in the first hour. I appreciate it, but I can't just keep ordering bare minimum every time. Just today, okay? No, you only order tea. Then one day... I'm coming in. Yeah, sure. Come on in. It's kind of small, but... I was at her house. She asked me to help move stuff, so I came over to her place. Also... Ugh, sis brought her boyfriend! Wow, they're in love! Look! Hey, I said he's not my boyfriend yet. Go in the other room. <laughs> yes? Sorry, I know my brothers were being rude. Also, thank you for all the help. Oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. B but anyway... That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, the store right around the corner has a super sale every Wednesday. It's far from the station though, so I'm always struggling, but thank you, Takeru-san. You really helped me out. I was walking the city when I saw Kanai-san collapsing because of all the stuff, so I talked to her to see if I could help her out. I'm just glad I could help you out. But man... <laughs> Are you surprised that a cabaret girl lives in a dinky room like this? Huh? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I just feel like this is all super nostalgic. Nostalgic? Yes, I actually have a younger brother who is still in middle school, but I used to live in a house like this with my family before. I see. Oh, and just to be clear, I don't just let anyone into my house if they're my customer. It's only you. Huh? What do you mean by that? Uh, by the way, why did you start working as a cabaret girl, can I saw? Huh? Hmm? Oh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'm okay if I'm only telling you. I actually used to be a college student a little while ago. You used to be? Yeah, about a half a year ago. Ah, uh, the company went under. The company that her father owned and operated collapsed out of the blue. She's currently working part-time at cabaret jobs trying to help pay off her dad's debt. She couldn't pay for tuition, so she had to quit college and help out with all of his debt. Oh, that sounds rough. It's totally fine, but I just don't want my younger brothers to have to deal with anything, you know? I see. You too. Huh? Me too? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I used to live in a pretty poor household too. Like to where we didn't even have money to buy food for tomorrow. <laughs> Just like us, huh? Wait, that means you can't get out at night. That's not okay. Oh, I'm totally fine now. I'm working hard for my brothers who are a lot younger than me right now, too. <sighs> then we really are kind of similar, huh? <laughs> I guess we are. We both had younger brothers, and both of us are working hard for each other's families. We had something in common. After this day, we started hanging out more often outside of the store. But then one day... Huh? What did you just say? I just said I don't want you to come to the store anymore. But wait, hang on! Why are you saying that? Does it matter to you? We're just... 
We're just customer em and employee, that's it. That's how you really feel, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> I see. I don't know why she was calling me like this out of the blue, but I could hear her crying at the end of that call. And also, that laughter. I could definitely hear someone at the end of that call. Someone laughing that wasn't her. Hmm, I kind of figured that she wouldn't like this, so I didn't do it, but I suppose this is enough. Was that good enough? That was an amazing act. <laughs> he doesn't even spend any money when he comes here. He spends the bare minimum and was so annoying. That's because I kept asking him. <laughs> what, are you saying that you were really into that man? You should leave that lame man alone. I bet you he's got no money at all. He's only being kind to you because he heard what was going on in your family. It, he's not that kind of a person. And who cares if he doesn't have a lot of money? What, are you seriously saying that as a cabaret girl? I, I, I'm not the kind of person that will judge a customer like that. I'm happy with all the customers that show up and use their money for us. Ugh, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're seriously so lame. The two of you are being asked for! Huh? Kane and I? Come on! Why? What, you're here again? Yeah, I'm here to see Kanai-san. Takeru-san. You really are something else. <laughs> what part of this lame, bland girl do you like? I'm so much better than her, honestly. You seem to be getting ahead of yourself, asking for me and Kane. Oh, let me guess. You got your summer bonus. Huh? Oh, something like that. <laughs> That's hilarious! That's why you want to pop off today, huh? Great. <laughs> um, can you bring me the menu, please? To Karasan, you don't have to. <laughs> don't worry about it, I'm fine. B but... Yakane, the poor guy is trying to make himself look good. Ikyo-san. Hmm, what should I get? Yeah, it's your bonus, right? I'm sure it's nothing crazy. Stop putting on a front and just buy the champagne that's like $500. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for this one. Huh? N no way. Oh, I see, you almost got me. Huh, what do you mean? You're not able to read the prices, are you? <laughs> you must have misunderstood the pricing. You couldn't spend your entire wealth to buy this. <laughs> huh? That's not good. If you understand what you're asking for, then... I brought 100k in cash, but if I need more, I brought my card, too. Oh, and I'll pay it all now. Takarasan, how do you have this kind of money? <laughs> Are you surprised? I'm gonna use this money to make you the top girl here. What? Huh? We've got a champagne tower on table one! Th thank you! Takarasan, why? How do you... Yeah, who the hell are you? Huh? Did I not tell you? I'm just a jobless guy. I have three million dollars in savings, though. Huh? What? I had actually started my own company when I was in college with my friend. At the time, we would work and study at the same time, so we actually made over two million dollars in sales. The other day, we sold our business, and we were thinking about starting a new business, but, uh... These few years, I was just working non-stop, so I decided to stretch out and relax a little bit. Uh, um, Takarasan, would you like to go out with me after my shift? Huh? No. What? Come on! 
You should say yes. The one and only Akuyo is saying she'll follow you. No, I'm gonna ask Kanai-san, not you, to hang out after her shift. Huh? Me? Kanai-san. Huh? Would you be willing to go on a date with me? If you're okay with me, I'd love to. But... Then. Wow, it's so beautiful. This is actually kind of a quiet place. Not many people know about it. Takeru-san, thank you so much for today. Oh, it's totally fine. I'll get some expensive champagne sometime. No, you don't need to do that. Huh? Because I'm going to be quitting after today. Huh? Why? I told you that I only started working there to help pay off my dad's debt. I was able to hit my target funds thanks to you buying the champagne. Oh, right. Then I guess that's fine. Then I guess she doesn't need me anymore. So yeah, I'm going to need you to stay close to me from now on, too. Huh? Of course. The 100k that you used today is going to be returned to you with interest, too. Huh? No, I didn't mean to... Seriously, don't worry about it. You really don't need to pay me back. No, that's not okay. Hmm? Can I, son? I, I need you to be by my side until I pay you back. I think it might take like a hundred years until I pay you back. Um, are you saying you want me to be by your side for another 100 years? <sighs> Don't make a girl say the whole line. Ah, uh, wait, can I, son? I was shocked by the surprise proposal from her. Of course, I officially asked her out a little. Of course, I officially asked her out on a later day. I went to the store that she used to work at to report back. Well, ugh, it's you. Oh, hey, you remember me, right? Welcome to the store. Come in right this way. Huh? Apparently, after Kanai-san quit the store, the other employees snitched on Ikuyu-san's horrible behavior, and her horrible attitude was brought to light. Because of that, the manager docked her pay and chewed her out. Now she's starting over from trainee. So yeah, she's cleaning up the store from even before the store is opening. Pretty shocking to imagine Akuya-san doing that, huh? Yeah, seriously. Your room and how dirty it is is also shocking. Huh? I clean up the room once a week. We're going to live together, so let's clean up a little bit. <laughs> what are you grinning for? I mean, I feel like we're much closer now that we're dating. Uh, you don't need to say things like that. Come on, help me. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!